All right, YouTube, it's time I actually did a video of me doing something. Uh, so I figured whilst I am doing this, mucking around with the Watchmon 5 or Watchmon Plus, I figured that I would install the new PCM60X up here somewhere. Now, I don't know whether I'm gonna install it like that or sort of like that up there. There's not, there's not, there's not that much room. Where is my finger? There. So I was going to install it this way rather than this way. I don't know, I don't know how that's going to go yet, but that's where it's going to go. I'll have to run the leads down to the shunt trip there. And then I got circuit breakers up the top there from the solar panels on the roof. There's only one kilowatt of solar on it. And it's a brand new PCM60X from MPP Solar. Uh, now, as you can see somewhere here, I'll add, there is a problem with my PIP. Well, I thought there was a problem with my PCM60X down there. Pretty much um denied for weeks whether I am going to replace this unit itself. A few weeks ago on Facebook group DIY Powerwalls on Facebook, I showed a, I shared an image of this cable, the negative lead being quite hot, uh, 70 degrees I think from from memory. I can't remember, uh, but it's still it's still cranking away. It's still doing 31 amps. But all that I did was put oh, probably less than an eighth of a turn on that. It like didn't move very much at all. And then tighten that terminal up and it seemed to get a lot better. Well, there's, there's no heat there at all. Let me grab my thermal camera and take a little photo. As you can see there, the heat from, what do you call it, the pips? What's that about? This, is, this one's the one with a bit of charging happening from solar. So it's 37 degrees, I guess there. They've got around the corner. That's basically just the side of the pip there. 38 degrees. Then we've got the shunt trip and the shunt. You can see there the pip. The cables aren't hot at all. Not compared to what they were. That's for sure. So I'm happy with that. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to replace out that one. I'm going to leave it in here as long as I can to sort of show it working. And that's a little DC to DC converter. Quick run around of the rest of the batteries in this shed and go under this under the desk here. There's no heat in anything there. So that's my solar cable coming from my shed. But even that's not that much hotter than ambient. Maybe one or two degrees warmer. So right here, back up in the shed, let's put this other PCM 60X in so we can get the, the shed batteries charged up. Rightio, we're in the next day and well, I planned on recording a whole process, but I thought I'd save you the swearing and the, the procrastination. So basically we've got the panels coming in from the roof. I've only got two panels, so it's like 60 volts or something coming down into a breaker there. There's two panels on the roof. Uh, now this is north facing and that is south facing. They're actually over here on the shed roof. So they're not getting very much sun and it's still, what is it, eight o'clock in the morning or something. Um, it is working 57 volts or 57 watts, one amp. I don't expect it to be much more than that for the next couple of hours, but it is all configured up. Well, it's all set up and running. Um, I got a 50 amp DC breaker there. And then the negative comes down on the left hand side down to the shunt. Basically, it's got to come from here to this side of the shunt so I can go back up into the battery. So the shunt records how much is coming and going. And then the positive side comes down to here. Basically, that's all we need. We've got to we'll run a load off down here later on today or tomorrow. Not sure how I'm going to do that. Again, probably just the battery hasher. Uh, we'll come across here and we'll have a look at the Batrium stuff. Yeah, that's a Watchmon 5. So we can see a couple of cells are down just because we this one's self-discharging. I'm not actually sure what's going on with this one. But there's been no load on it since I put the Watchmon 5 in, or the Watchmon Plus rather. Um, so I need to charge those batteries back up so I can finish a video. So it looks proper and good I guess you'd say but let's have a quick look at the settings okay first of all we have got to install the MPP tracker you download from the website I'll leave the link in the description below we click on the little unlock button A-D-M-I-N-I-S uh, A-D-M-I-N-I-S-T-R-A-T-O-R enter and then we can enter the settings now you click on this little icon here second from the left and the battery type is AGM, we want to do customized and then hit apply, okay. 
that frees up all this stuff to change. Now, this is um, CALC, calculated because Pete sucks at maths. Uh, this is all 48 volt, but this is all in 12 volt increments, I guess you'd say. So I want to put, and I'll change the settings on the watch mod, I run the one of these cells at 4 volts each. So 4 volts times, uh, what is it, 14? equals 56 volts, so we would do mix, maximum 56 volts. Now this is in 12 volt increments, so we've got to do that divided by four equals 14. So we're gonna rewind that back to 14 volts, apply, okay, and you've got to go top down, you can't go um, bottom up. Um, so change that to 14 volts. I'm unsure whether you can type it, but I'll keep doing this. 14 volts, apply, max charging current, 60 amps. Battery equalization is disabled. Uh, compensation, I leave that the same. Uh, C charge time, I minimize that. Constant voltage charge time, even though it won't actually be used, I don't believe, because of the battery equalization settings. So I put that down to five. Uh, constant voltage charge time. That's what I do. I'm not sure whether they are the correct settings. Um, but that's just what I do. So there we go, we go close, and we've got the settings saved. Now if we go back and have a look at the Batrium, we want to actually do 50, what was it, 56 volts? Where's my calculator? What was it? Uh, 14 times 4 equals, yeah, 56 volts. So we want to change menu, we go to hardware, we go yes, cell monitors, and we want to change this to bypass volt of 4 volts per cell. And if we go save uh, there, I'm assuming that these are the right settings. You don't have to do device sync for the Watchmon 5 or the Watchmon Plus. We'll go to chart and now it's discharging the cells. And if you have a look over here, we have got the little lights happening, buzzing away. So it does odds and evens, basically. It discharges. Radio tubers, she's all installed and configured up and running well. I only, like I said before, only have the two panels up, so 500 watts panels. I'll put the other two up, give me a kilowatt, give me eight to 10 amps, I guess, if the sun is in the right direction of charging capabilities, uh, those batteries should balance up within the next day or so, which will be handy. I still think I've got a problem with this pack. I really should take it down and have a quick look. But tubers, thank you very much for tuning in. If you are interested in purchasing, uh, purchasing a PCM60X, I will very Ooh. happily stand behind the products. I love them. I've used them for years and they have served me well. Uh, so on that recommendation, Peggy at mppsolar.com. If you want to do it direct, it's much cheaper, it's quicker, it's faster, and it's more effective, and you don't have so many fees. Or if you want to support the channel, I will leave a link in the description below to AliExpress, eBay, something like that. And then you can buy through there. I make about 7% on the sale. Similarly, thank you very much to all the new Patreons that have come on board. I think I've got 11 now. I think that's a record. Uh, so I do appreciate that as well. If you are considering sponsoring my channel or, you know, I just help you out at some point, consider throwing me a dollar a month on Patreon. It is much anticipated. No, what's the word? I am very grateful. That'll do. Thank you very much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one. Cheers. And look at all this mess to clean up. I knocked all the ends off the Pharrell's so I just used the or boot laces or whatever you call them. So I could just nice and neat and tidy. You can hardly hardly see them, but they are definitely there. It makes a neater connection. Anyway, really, this time, see ya.